Good morning. Today we celebrate the first step toward overturning the Defense of Marriage Act and sending that ugly law into the history books where it belongs. Along with 90 colleagues as original co-sponsors, we are introducing the Respect for Marriage Act, a bill to repeal DOMA. Our bill ensures that all married couples, including lawfully married same-sex couples, will have the same access to federal responsibilities and benefits, including critical programs like Social Security that are intended to ensure the stability and security of American families. And I am extremely pleased to be here because religious voices have been very prominent in the debate about marriage equality and LGBT couples and their rights. Unitarian Universalists have welcomed loving LGBT couples and their families in our congregations for decades. And since 1996 have formally called for legal civil marriage for these couples. We know these families are no threat, that in fact they are blessings to our communities. Unitarian Universalists choose to stand on the side of love. We believe that all people, gay and straight, have inherent worth and dignity. We believe that we are all children of God and that all of us should be treated equally by our government, that no class of citizens should be singled out for discrimination. DOMA does just that, and we are strongly in support of its repeal. Other faith com communities join us in that stance, the United Church of Christ and Reformed Judaism among them. But religious opinion about religious marriage is divided, with some religious voices in opposition and many faith communities in active and very animated discernment about this issue. The distinction between religious marriage and civil marriage is critical. Religious marriage is governed by the beliefs and practices of particular denominations and faith communities, and these practices vary considerably. The repeal of DOMA would change none of the rules and practices about religious marriage. No clergy person would be required to celebrate a marriage which her or his tradition does not affirm. No church, synagogue, temple, or mosque would be required to welcome LGBT married couples. Civil marriage, on the other hand, is an institution designed for all of we, the people, regardless of our religious beliefs. The rights and responsibilities that we have heard so movingly described today should be available to everyone. Civil marriage should be a civil right. I do come from Massachusetts, like David, where marriage equality has been a reality now for more than five years. I was privileged to conduct not David's marriage, but one of the other first legal same-sex marriages in the country. And I'm pleased to report that the institution of marriage is alive and well in Massachusetts. Couples, both gay and straight, love and commit themselves in marriage. They continue to raise their children, to attend PTA meetings and soccer matches. In fact, the most recent data indicates that the divorce rate in Massachusetts has actually dropped by almost 10%. Now, I'm not claiming that the ability of lesbian and gay couples to marry is the cause. Trust me on that. But there is simply no indication that the institution of marriage has been harmed by the reality of civil marriage for these loving couples. None whatsoever. It is time for us to end the discrimination which DOMA enshrines in our laws. It is time for us to focus on the real threats to the institution of marriage, the long deployment of service people in Iraq and Afghanistan, the financial pressures caused by the recession, the contraction of support for early childhood education. It is time, my friends, for us to have the right conversations about marriage and how to protect and support it. It is time for us all to stand on the side of love.